Just going to do um, quick thoughts today on the Scotland Wales game at Cardiff yesterday. Uh, it was my first time going to the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. I'm um, just in my hotel just now. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you to the Welsh people for great uh, hospitality while I was at uh, while I was in Cardiff, and uh, also you know for being uh, such good sports um, in the crowd as well, um, which is always nice to see. Um, the game itself, obviously, um, just uh, um, I thought I was a bit disappointed, obviously, because Scotland lost. But I don't think going forward we can be terribly worried. Um, I think we've got to improve, like the little things, over more consistently. Because that first half, I mean, was I mean, shot shot was so shoddy. Um, like there was just little things like we were getting turned over too easily because we were only getting one or two forwards to the breakdowns. Um, either we were getting turned over easily, giving a penalty away, or it was slow ball. Uh, whereas Wales got enough players in, and it was a field day for their jacklers. Um, whereas Wales, when they had the ball, they were getting at least two or three forwards to every breakdown, making sure they secure their own ball. So it's basics like that that need to be addressed. I mean. That's not good enough from our pack. We need to make sure we're getting better there. And obviously the tries themselves, I mean, you just watch them and they speak for themselves. Like, you know, two simple line breaks. Um, first one, two missed tackles. Second one, one missed tackle. And it's just, you know, not good enough. Hugh Jones, you're a brilliant attacking player, but as a defender, you have got to improve. Simple as that. You want to be one of the best 13s in the world? I think you can be. You've got great potential and great ability, obviously. But, you know, if you want to be that, your defence has to get better. End of story. Um, also, I have to like, applaud the Welsh defence as well. I thought they defended very well. Not just at the at the breakdowns there. You know, the way they managed to slow the ball up, even though sometimes it's a bit du <laughs> dubious in terms of how they slowed it up. But, hey, that, that happens in rugby. I can't really... Say much more than that, uh, but um, you know the the fact they were able to do that and set their defensive line. Their defensive line were up, and it's like a shot. And our ball was so slow at times. Um, I thought Adam Hastings actually didn't have a bad game necessarily. It's just too too often. I think he maybe let the nerves of you know international rugby. I know he's had a couple of caps already, but he's maybe let the nerves get to him a little bit, and he was just playing a bit too safe. Either just went for the first receiver or he kicked it quite a lot of the time um so yeah i thought i think you know we need finn russell back for that unpredictability factor i know finn's you know not perfect perfect player himself but he keeps defenders on them to on their toes keeps them guessing and you know keeps us moving forward when things are going right um also uh i have to say like good set pieces were mostly pretty good yesterday um Hamish Watson, again, great work rate, got around the pitch. Stuart McAnally shows himself to be a really, really capable captain. He led from the front, like did really well. Um, can't fault his performance at all. Um, and, other, I mean, other than that, like, I think, you know, Wales probably just about deserved to win. Um, probably the better, no, they were the better team, sorry. But I didn't think they were that much better than us. Um, they just got, got it right when it counted. They took their chances when they presented themselves. We need to make sure we're getting the basics right going forward, um, and that we're you know doing it consistently. We're not just having these lapses. If, if we're wanting to be a really good side, that is, because I think we're a good side, but we need to get up to that next level uh, to be taken really seriously, especially for the next World Cup. Um, and one last thing I want to say is uh, to Doddy Weir, um, massive respect to you, man. Uh, what you're going through, um, I just can't imagine it. I mean, I've worked with a couple of folk with motor neurons disease because uh, I work in, work in care, and it's a horrible, horrible illness. Um, so, you know, I'm just uh, fully respecting of you for what you're going through and that you're trying to raise money for your charity. I've kept him myself, um, obviously, and I wish you the very best going forward. And you have much love for myself and the whole of World Rugby. So best of luck, man. I hope you, I hope you can beat this or at the very least find a way for a cure to be found in future because you fully deserve it i mean if all anyone in rugby deserves to have their have their luck um turned it's you and i wish you the very best in your fight and you know just know that the whole rugby community is with you and everyone's with you doddy okay that's all i've got to say guys so i'm just gonna leave it there and um 
I'll catch you later. I might do another rug. I might do another rugby uh, chat uh, soon because um, I'm wanting to do more of that on this channel, uh, as well as just talking about movies, etc. Okay, so I'll catch you later, guys. Bye bye.